Probably one of the most underrated films in the DBZ movie series is Lord Slug. So I'm here to review it and see whether people should give this one a watch. Just to note, the Japanese title for this movie is Super Saiyan Son Goku. Humorously enough, on the UK DVD for Lord Slug, they actually copied the name that Toei made, but they misspelled Saiyan to Sire. Anyway, the plot of the movie is simple, which really adds to the film as a whole. I like how Lord Slug wastes no time with setting up the framework for the film. After a hilarious scene with Gohan and Icarus singing and dancing to Piccolo, what seems like a comet is heading towards Earth. Bomber wants Goku and Krillin not to destroy the comet, since she says that there are no life forms on it. Both of them use a Kamehameha wave in an attempt to send it flying back, but to no avail. The comet finally crashes and appears to actually be a large spaceship. Suddenly, an army of mysterious henchmen come out and start attacking civilians. Gohan doesn't hold back at all and takes on the army. When Chi Chi interferes and gets actually knocked down, Gohan loses his concentration and is ultimately defeated. The main villain behind this observation is Slug, a Namekian that wants to turn Earth into a planet cruiser. After he takes the Dragon Ball away from Gohan's hat, he reads Bomber's mind to see where the other Dragon Balls are. Once him and his men collect all of the Dragon Balls, he grants a wish to be back to his younger and stronger self. Goku and Slug eventually fight it out, and it seems like Slug has the upper hand. Then, through rage I assume, Goku transforms into what Kaiosama believes is the Super Saiyan, which is false. False Super Saiyan makes Goku have no pupils, the hair like a regular Super Saiyan although it's black instead of golden, and he finally has a bright golden aura surrounding him. Goku begins to dominate Slug, eventually breaking his arm and a few moments later, the False Super Saiyan stage runs out and he reverts to base. Then Gohan whistles to distract Slug from the fight, since the Mechians are sensitive to whistling sounds. And then Goku calls upon the energy of the sun to create the Super Spirit Bomb to defeat him. I feel like one of the only reasons why this movie is actually disliked among the Dragon Ball Z community mostly is because of the mysterious of the false Super Saiyan form. That aside of course, this is a pretty damn solid DBZ movie, and I actually like the transformation, it looks awesome. The action was fun stuff. It was a little darker than other DBZ movies because of the increased level of violence in scenes, and it was great stuff to watch. The music, of course by Kikuchi, is fantastic and doesn't really need much explanation apart from it being really good. The only two things I can really criticise about it is the villain not being too interesting, apart from him being Namekian obviously, and the ending felt a little too similar than the previous movies. I'd easily give this a 4 out of 5 Dragon Ball rating, and make sure to tune in to my next review, Call's Revenge. See ya!